I can liken it if you take two pop cans and smash them together. That's how the train looked. You literally had to crawl underneath and over jagged uh, pieces of the of the, new of the subway cars. Toronto's worst subway crash in TTC history left three dead, 30 in hospital and dozens more injured. Peter Rotolo was a duty officer with Toronto Paramedic Services and was among the first responders on the scene 20 years ago today. The initial call that came in came in as a collapse. Uh, so when the uh, first responding crews arrived, uh, they were quite surprised to see a number of people exiting in the DuPont station that were covered in soot. You have any trouble breathing, sir? You go into automatic mode, you deal with what you have to do to, to treat the patients, to extricate the patients. Some passengers were trapped among the twisted metal. Others were pinned under the seats. A driver who had only been on the job two days ran three red lights before rounding a curve and slamming into a stop train ahead. There was also a flawed device which should have engaged the brakes of trains passing stop signals. The two trains collided just north of DuPont during the evening rush, and the tragedy prompted many changes at the TTC, which led to 236 recommendations. Everything from our maintenance and our preventative maintenance and predictive maintenance to our training and to our operations, nothing gets funded at the TTC before State of Good Repair is funded. And I remember the feeling so dazed. Jeanette Tansley was on the subway when the two cars collided. She escaped unscathed, but the memories are still vivid. She says she made a split second decision to move further away from the part of the train hit hardest by the impact. What would have happened to me if I turned in the opposite direction and gone further down the train or, oh, and that makes me shiver. Even though the TTC says it is in the process of replacing signals with newer technology, it maintains the TTC is safe to ride. Andrea Puno, City News.